All right, guys, before the video starts, I will just say um, thank you for jumping onto my channel here and checking out my videos. If you enjoy this review, um, I hope it earns your subscription. There will be plenty more book discussion videos just like this coming up soon. Enjoy. So it's only, um, it's just the end of January, but when 2019 finishes and I look back across the year at my favorite books, um, Daphne du Maurier's Jamaica Inn will absolutely be somewhere at the top of that list. And I know, I mean, obviously across the year, I, I will read so many different books, but I already know that this is an absolute classic and, and one of my immediate favourites. I'd never read Daphne du Maurier before. I'd heard of her. I've spent a lot of time in Cornwall and I'm sort of very familiar with her, but I'd never actually read her till now. And my goodness, I've absolutely found one of my new favourite authors. She's an incredible writer. Um, this story is set in uh, 19th century Cornwall and it is dark, it's bleak, it's grisly, it's nasty, it's sort of thrilling, it's a bit horrifying. Um, but deep, deep, deep at the centre of this book are its characters, are its people. So yeah, it's absolutely for you. If you like your thrillers, if you like sort of English classics, if you, if you enjoy um, that, that sort of bygone era, this is absolutely for you. Um, it's, it, as I say, it's rugged. The landscape, Cornish landscape, is such a, a big character within this story. The setting is, is paramount to the action. Um, if you enjoy, if you like the sounds of those sorts of things, and you, you've never read this book before, absolutely give it a go. I'm not going to make uh, plot points too sort of explicit in this in this review. It won't be a sort of deep dive discussion. Um, I sort of toyed with the idea. It absolutely deserves in-depth discussion. Uh, but I thought I'd allow you to discover it for yourselves as I did. Because that's where a lot of the pleasure with this, this book has come from. Stumbling upon it. A beautiful cloth bound edition that I have here. And, and enjoying every page. So it's about Mary Ellen. She's a young, she's a young spinster. She, her mother dies, and her mother's dying wish is to um, move and go and live with her aunt Patience. Now, Mary and her mother, the family, remember Patience as a cheerful and bright and and uh, excited woman. What uh, Mary finds when she uh, when she moves to live with her aunt is a shell of a woman, a shell of her former self. Mary's journey, um, so Patience now lives, Aunt Patience lives in um, uh, an inn, a, a sort of a pub, a coaching inn um, uh, called Jamaica Inn and she lives there with her, her husband. Um, we'll get on to him in just a minute but as I said what, what um, Mary remembers and what she discovers when she arrives there are two completely different people. Patience is a shell of her former self, she's nervous, she's, she's quiet, she's timid, she's a, a battered wife basically. So, the antagonist of the plot. To begin with, um, when um, Mary first um, ventures towards Jamaica Inn, she, what the author does so brilliantly is, is remove the space between Mary and the reader. You are so, so close to her. You're experiencing every little thing that she experiences right alongside her. So, for example, when she's in the coach, she's uh, bounding along, along these Cornish moors, uh, towards Jamaica Inn. This journey is is so so dangerous and it's so uncomfortable. You know, she's she's in this rickety coach, it's dark, it's black. Outside there's this storm raging, wind lashing against the rain lashing against the window panes. She's just at the mercy of this storm and, and, and so vulnerable straight away. The reader it, the concern for her goes through the roof straight away. And she's got this drip, this drip's coming through the coach, through the roof of the coach, and it's dripping down her neck, and you feel every little uncomfortable squirm that she that she has. And and it's you're so close with her, you're so you, you've made this pact. She she's made a pact to go to Jamaica in. She must go and live with her aunt Patience. She's promised to do that. She promised her mum that's what she will do. So you've made a pact as a reader to go along with her. And when she arrives at the uh, Jamaica Inn, it's this dark, foreboding sort of inn. Nasty, nasty, nasty sort of vibes. Joss Merlin, who uh, runs the inn and dominates Patience and, and, and Mary to a degree, he's standing in the doorway and, and it's so simple, but he grabs her arm. He's just met her. They don't know each other. They've never met before. And, and he grabs her arm and so... He's grabbing the reader's arm, and I, I felt quite invaded. He, he's a he's a huge man. When I first um, started reading it, I thought he's like Bill Sykes on steroids. That's kind of how I described him and how I thought of him. He stands nearly seven feet tall and about four foot wide. He is terrifying, and he's dominant. And he grabs her arm, and it's so uncomfortable. It's so invasive and so physical. It sets such a tone straight away. Nasty, nasty man. And what? 
Mary goes on to discover at the end is, is, is equally disturbing. Um, there's Just before I get into it, there's a fascinating little scene where... Um, pa- the, credit to De Maurier, she, her powers of description are fantastic. She There's a scene where she's describing the coaching in. It's really busy one night. And as she pans across the room describing things, uh, two men sat at a bar, another man about to, to, to strike another, and a man with his head in his hands... Two men slumped against the wall. It, it, like it's like a it's like a Renaissance painting. If you sort of worked across the painting, investigating each little square inch and, and what's happening and and the smells that the smoke and the stale alcohol and it's just everything is so powerfully described. It's quite a it's quite a, a physical reaction that it gets from you as a reader. And as, as, as I say, Mary, she's um, up in this room above the doorway, she, above the entrance to the inn. She's um, sort of, uh, she, she discovers some horrific things. This story is about essentially a, um, a pirate ring, a smuggling ring that, that's county-wide. Um, Joss is at the, the head of this um, smuggling, shipwrecking, thieving, stealing, murdering sort of gang of, of gypsies and thieves and highwaymen and peddlers and they're just the nastiest bunch of men you could imagine um they are they are absolutely abhorrent they're physically disturbing they're they're lawless they're immoral and and she discovers that this is taking place and and so mary has a couple of really strong moral dilemmas um one of which is how and when and, and where to report the crimes that she know are taking place. The other thing that really keeps the page turning and really keeps you, the reader powering through this story is um, her romantic attractions. Her, her, she, she, I won't go into too much detail as I say, but she, she is absolutely in this, she's having an identity crisis. She doesn't know who to be and what to become and she's finding herself drawn to the worst people that she could imagine some of the some of the nastiest characters she can't help but feel attracted to there's a fascinating character in this story um he is a vicar and um yeah he's the vicar of a place called alternan or alternan i'm not sure how to pronounce it but he's a vicar and he's she stumbles across him in her most desperate hour trapped on the moors and and deaf you know at every sort of turn potentially and he is he's um he's al- al- albino and it, but he's like this angelic figure. He, he's sort of an angel in the night. He, he, he rescues her and he saves her. And the antithesis is, is Jem, Joss's brother, Jem Merlin. He's a, a horse thief. He's a, a, a rugged man. He's, he's, um, he is lawless in his own way at times. And, and he's quite corrupt. And he, he, he can turn a quick penny really easily without even flinching. And he's just a nasty bit of work. But she is absolutely drawn to him. The relationships that Mary has are so complex, whether it's the, 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 you know, wishing to intervene to save her aunt patients from, from her terrible, terrible, the clutches of, of Joss Merlin, nasty man, or whether it's Jem, who she just cannot, she, she loves him, she's drawn to him, but she cannot justify his actions. And then this seemingly angelic um, vicar who, who saves her life, but perhaps she isn't, she isn't physically attracted to. And then she's got this duty to herself, you know, which, which, cripples her there are some really nasty scenes i mean some of the descriptions some of the i'd say the first 100 pages are about throwing mary into into uh, the inn and family life at the inn the middle 100 pages are about her exploring her identity um through her relationships with, with the two men that are mentioned and the last 100 pages are are sort of violence and and just cr- crimes beyond belief um, the, the, the descriptions when the ships are being lured to the shore to be wrecked, um, the descriptions are horrific. And she's sworn to secrecy on all of this. J- uh, Joss very early on says, talk, you know, speak out about this and I will break every bone in your body. And, and I believe him. You, as a reader, you believe him. He's a drunk. He's, he's, he's massive. He has anger issues. Um, yeah, you, you just wouldn't want to cross him. If I can give this book any further recommendation, it's this. The thing that, um, the, the, the ending, the last 50 pages, there is one huge twist and there is, um, it's just such a brilliant ending. I, I was, I was left very satisfied and, you know, you'd have to read it to find out why, but I absolutely will continue to read Du Maurier. She is superb and it was so, I mean, as I say, I, I am in love with Cornwall. Cornwall is 
probably it, for me the most beautiful place in England and uh, and potentially the world. It's just it's just perfect. Um, and so to hear these places described in these deep dark ways, it's I get it. I can see where I can see how they've taken what I've seen there, the Moors, Bodmin, places like this. I know where it's all come from. Um, to hear it described from that 20th century perspective in the form of a, a, a somewhat romantic thriller, it's just it's fantastic. Very very happy with the ending, and and I think it's um, she's a she's just a brilliant writer. I'm so glad I discovered her works. I, I know that there are from reading blogs and discussions. Um, Jamaica Inn is not potentially our most popular. There is There are people that would absolutely fight for her other works. And so I've got a duty now to get my teeth into those. But yeah, really, really enjoyable read. So if you've read it, get in touch. If you um, plan to read it, um, you know, you're in for a treat. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.